But you, you were concerned about Citizen United and the sort of power that uh, business can have on the electoral process. Oh yeah, there are lots of extremely corrupt features of American um, uh, government. Um, you know, if you become a, a member of the um, a member of Congress, you'll get a card from the head of, of your, your party which will say, I think this may just be for the representatives rather than the senators. It says, you will spend five hours an afternoon talking to uh, donors. Now that's not the only date, that's not the only time you spend with donors <coughs> because, you know, they'll take you to dinner and, you know, cocktails. You'll spend the evening with them too. But this five hours is very important when you, when you talk to them. So in other words, the message is you are the slaves of the donors. They own you. And you don't play ball with them, you're not going to be uh, renominated. <coughs> so that's real corruption, the ownership of the Congress by the rich. <laughs> that I find troublesome. But that seems to me remote from antitrust concerns. Why necessarily? Because Gary Becker was uh, at least wrote a model about lobbying that is based on competition in lobbying. So it's true, I agree with you, that that system is very corrupt. It's also true that uh, at least uh, as long as there is some industrial fragmentation, there is competition among the people who own you. And competition is better than monopoly, even in that case. So if you have just one big player, uh, sort of uh, you talk five hours with only one person, uh, you're going to have only one view of the world. And that, to me, seems like uh, much more problematic than uh, having uh, a lot of people like uh, trying to get. Yeah, but you're not going to have you're not going to have people competing with the Koch brothers. They have too much money. They have billions. They own. <laughs> they own uh, a great many Republican uh, officials.